Hi guys, been so busy outside putzing around, this time cutting down blackberry brambles that were out of control. Um, I almost forgot it was Monday again, and I have promised you guys a couple of reviews. Actually, um, well, and the whack, weekly wax melts, that is once again <laughs> late uh, because my life has become, I mean, it's not like I never have any time for myself, but between trying to keep up on the yard work during the summer months, um, because my husband is gone all the time, so I do it all. Uh, and around here, I, you know, when we have six months of winter, you try to be outside at every opportunity. Um, and then I have my sign painting business now, and Ashton and Emma are here uh, living with us again. Actually, Emma's with her daddy today. Ashton is at work, so I'm just busy, busy, busy. Um, but I will always get these reviews to you. They might not always be on time. They might be bi-weekly reviews sometimes, but they will still be coming to you on a semi-regular basis. Um, so I have, I got a new order last week that I had ordered for myself, um, a lot of which, not a lot, but some of which contained uh, my fall favorites because someone had asked for a fall favorites review. I also, and then I had ordered some of the new scents for myself. Um, and then Kathy, the wonderful Kathy Lafort, surprised me by sending me a box of stuff because she wanted me to have some of the newer scents because she thought I might be getting low on stuff to review. Sorry, there's a fly buzzing me. Um, she thought I might be getting low on stuff to review, which I was, and I didn't know that I was going to be able to place an order. So thank you so very much, Kathy, for the thoughtfulness of your gift. And thank you to Victoria, who was the one who um, put the box together. She knows my nose so well. Um, so Kathy said to her, I want to make sure this scent is incorporated, and then the rest are up to you to choose. So that was an absolutely fantastic surprise so i am going to start because this is probably going to have to be in three separate parts i am going to start with um the stuff that i got uh in combination with what kathy sent um and if there are some of my fall favorites in there i'll incorporate those as well and then when i'm done doing that then i will do the normal uh, weekly wax melts review and the reason I am doing it in three parts is because I have a lot of scent shots and I'm not sure um, how much I can get on my memory card or how long my battery will last so I might have to if the memory card gets full I think just to be safe I'm gonna you know download one and then come back and do another one so anyway on with the review one of the things that I uh, purchased from Victoria was this adorable little coffee cup now yes I could have gone anywhere and purchased a coffee cup um, this one happens to say smile and light laugh often life is good I wanted to order this because when we do have those long cold seemingly never-ending Wisconsin winters I want something that's going to remind me of Victoria and all of you guys that I've established such wonderful friendships with. So when I'm drinking my cappuccino or drinking my tea out of this mug, I will be thinking of you guys. Now, I don't typically um, burn candles. As most of you know, I'm a melter, so I will be scooping this. Um, and this is in my absolute favorite fall scent it's been my favorite since the first time I ever tried it it will always be among um, those scents that are on the top of my list and that's pumpkin praline sorry I, got a, I thought it was a dog here I'm not sure what it is that damn fly is gonna have to die and no I do not edit um, pumpkin pralines is so wonderful it's this really yummy earthy pumpkin that doesn't mean I'm, that it smells like, you know, dirt. <laughs> I don't mean that. You all know what a fresh pumpkin smells like when you cut into it. But then you get the nuttiness from the pralines. Um, it's also very sweet at the same time. 
And then this one is relatively heavy on the butter scent, which I happen to love. I know there are some people who don't. So if you're not a big fan of the buttery scents, I don't know that I would suggest this one for you, but I happen to love it. Um, I also ordered some room sprays. I ordered Granny's Apron for myself. This is another of my fall favorite scents. I got the spray and I got a scent shot, so I won't review the scent shot when I get to that one um, because there's no need to. The scent shot and the spray smell identical. And I have been spraying the heck out of my house with this. Granny's Apron is a combination of Granny's Pie Crust and Zucchini Bread. Pam Sampson came up with that combination a couple of years ago. Zucchini Bread on its own um, back then smelled a little bit too spicy for me. Now, I'm a person who loves the spicier scents in uh, the fall and winter months, and so does my husband. But around here, everybody has gardens around here. Um, I think more and more people are just are growing gardens in general. Um, but when we make zucchini bread, and I don't know if we make it differently from other parts of the country or not, we don't go super heavy on the spices. There's some cinnamon in it um, and that type of thing, but it's not overly spicy. When The first time I smelled zucchini bread, the scent shot, on its own, the spices were almost overpowering to me. So when Pam decided to throw the granny's pie crust in there and come up with this, it worked out perfectly. And this, to me, is exactly what the zucchini bread that I'm familiar with is supposed to smell like. And it smells like, you know, when you get that perfect crust on the top and you open the oven door and you can just smell that scent wafting out and it makes your whole house smell and feel comfortable that's what I get out of this so I will definitely be reordering this spray I know I'm gonna go through a lot of this um, this winter I also ordered tomahawk memories now but I didn't order for me this one is mine uh, but a few weeks ago my niece was here actually it was about a month ago I guess and we were setting up um, Ashton's bedroom and I had sprayed this shortly before she came over she fell in love with the scent so I sent her home with half a bottle my nephew went crazy for this stuff her husband so um, I had to order two bottles of this for him which he calls Ben Franklin spray <laughs> um, and the reason for that is Tomahawk is one of the few places left in the country that has a Ben Franklin store they are no longer franchised, they're independently owned, so each store um, can stock whatever they want to. As far as merchandise, the one that we have here in town stocks a lot of craft items, and apparently Tomahawk Memories smells to Jake like the craft uh, portion of our local Ben Franklin, which... If you've heard Ashton and I talking about, oh, we used to work for this retail store, that's where we used to work. Um, I was actually the uh, administrative assistant for like 10 years. Ashton worked there from the time she was 15 until after she graduated from high school. So when Jake said to me, Aunt Debbie, can you get me some Ben Franklin spray? I knew what he wanted. So two boxes of that, or two bottles of that, are now living at my niece and nephew's house. And I also ordered a blue sugar cotton candy spray. Uh, for Ashton and she has that in her car. We used her car yesterday. It smells fantastic So on with the scent shots now that I've rambled on like an idiot, but you're used to that for me, right? pumpkin cider oh, So good you're gonna hear me say oh, this is so good. Oh, this is delicious over and over and over again today You get the earthiness from the pumpkin You get the cider scent and then this is more of what I believe to be a red hot cinnamon versus a bakery cinnamon. To me, bakery cinnamon tends to be a little bit more sweet and can sometimes smell, um, if it's the actual you know cinnamon in the shaker, it can smell a little bit powdery. If it's a cinnamon stick, it can smell a little barky. This smells like, this actually smells like, um, if you made pumpkin cider and then used the cinnamon stick as a stir stick. 
So that is really, really good. I'll get the cup later. Cool water. Uh, this is the masculine version of cool water. There's both a feminine and a masculine version of this scent. Both are delicious. I used to wear the feminine version. This is so good. So, so good. I am not typically a huge um, fan of men's cologne type scents, but I do want to give them all a try. There are some that I do really enjoy. Um, so I wanted to try this one because I did enjoy the perfume so much. I can tell this is going to be an extremely strong thrower, as are most of Victoria's more cologne-type scents. Um, they all seem to have an excellent throw. <clears throat> Pink Sugar Zucchini Bread. Now this is one that came from Kathy, um, and I also ordered this one for myself, and I love it. This one smells, now I said before that zucchini bread on its own used to be uh, way too cinnamony for me or spicy. Now I, it smells more nutty to me. I mean, I still smell the spices, but I also smell a nuttiness to it. Um, so that in combination with the pink sugar, I think I am going to really, really like, and I should have checked the time I meant to put my phone over here. And didn't. I'll have to remember that for the next half of this review. Pumpkin apple cinnamon bread. <coughs> I've had this one before. This is one of the ones that's at the top of my um, cold weather favorites list. Apple. The apple is perfect. It's juicy. Um, the earthiness of that pumpkin. This one is more of the cinnamon that you would get from uh, cinnamon bread or you know a bakery type cinnamon and then you can smell um, sorry I think I've got wax on the end of my nose um, you can smell almost a doughiness like fresh cinnamon bread um, right out of the oven that's kind of what I get out of that now a lot of these do contain apple a lot of these do contain pumpkin and a lot of them do contain cinnamon because those are not only some of my favorite scents for the cold weather months but also my husband so you're gonna hear those three words mentioned a lot during this review too cajun cornbread this is another of my fall favorites this is a combination of kim's country cornbread which is slightly salty um and i did i review kim's country cornbread last week or last i think i did um and a combination of peach preserves. Now, typically, for whatever reason, peach preserves, not only to myself, but to my husband, not peach preserves, Victoria's peach scents. Um, generally, for whatever reason, and I have no idea why, smell like cat urine to us. Peach preserves is the exception to that. It smells like a yummy peach cobbler to me, or peach pie. Dark Angel, another of my all-time favorite cold weather scents. <sighs> Honestly, if I could just like tape this cup to the end of my nose and walk around with it like that the rest of the day, I'm the only one here besides the dogs. Um, this is so good. It's a combination of peppermint, which is sometimes too sharp for my nose. You've heard me say that several times in the past. Spearmint, which I love because it's so sweet. And patchouli. Don't let the patchouli throw you off. It's very minimal in there and works extremely well with those two mint scents. Charlie Brown Christmas. This is one that came out oh, two or three years ago. Um, Victoria came up with the scent. Sabrina came up with the name. Now this one is quite heavy on the spices. Heavier than I even remembered. And it's a combination of a variety of different spices. I do get cinnamon. I think there's some clove in here, possibly some nutmeg, and a little bit of fruitiness. But for the most part, I get more spice than I do fruit. But this is another. I have had that in the past. I wanted to retry it because it's been so long. I remember it being a favorite when it first came out. People absolutely love that. It doesn't get talked about as much anymore, so I wanted to make sure that I ordered that one. 
um, and that one is an extremely strong thrower from what I remember. Glazed Sticky Apples. Now this is a new one. This one came, I don't remember, I think I ordered this one. Yes, I did. Um, this is a combination of Applejack and Orange Peel and Caramelized Pralines. Right now I'm smelling more orange zest than I am anything else. But I can tell there's something lingering there in the background. And I'm sure that once it goes in the warmer, that will come forth more. And I think I'm going to really like that one. Um, cookies for Santa. This scent has been around forever. I'm not sure when Victoria came out with this. She had it long before I ever started ordering from her. But I've not tried it until now. This is so yummy. It seriously is. It smells like um, sugar cookie dough and Red Hots. I don't know what's with my fingers today. They're tripping over my tongue, dropping everything. This is heavy, heavy, heavy on the Red Hot scent. So if you're not a fan of Red Hot Cinnamon, I would steer clear of this one. But I happen to love it. Ashton loved this one as well when she smelled it cold. And oddly enough, I just found out the other day when these came in that the pumpkin cinnamon combinations don't work for her nose. So I guess when I melt these, it'll be either after she goes in to work in the afternoon or on days when she's out running errands or whatever. Not that she'd ever complain or say, oh, Mom, that's terrible. Can you shut it off? Um, I seriously doubt she would do that, but... It just surprised me because I like that scent combination so much. It surprised me that she didn't. Okay, Granny's Apron. I reviewed that in the spray. Giving thanks. I don't remember what this is. There's definitely apple in here. Caramel, possibly. Nuts and cinnamon. Now, what kind of nuts? I'm not sure, but I'm getting some kind of nuttiness. I don't know if it's pecan, walnut. I don't know if there are nuts in here at all because I didn't write the description down. But it smells amazing. And I think I am really, really going to like that one. I'm just going to do a couple more here and then do another one because, as I said, I'm not sure how much um, space I have on my memory card or how much life is left in my battery. Frosted Apple, this is one that Kathy sent to me. And is a combination of DKNY Delicious, I believe, and Wintery Candied Apple. Now, Wintery Candied Apple, Poisoned Apple, and Enchanted Apple are not scents that I particularly care for on their own. But Ashton and I were, and neither does Ashton, but we were both very pleasantly surprised by this scent. It's, it's perfumey, but yet it almost smells like it could be a body wash or a shampoo as well. More so a body wash, I think. So this is good. We'll see um, how much we like this once it goes in the warmer. Right now I'm liking it. Genevieve's Tea Ring. This is another that Victoria came out um, specifically for one of her customers a few years ago. And I'm sorry, now I don't remember what her name was. I know her last name was Howard because we share the same name. Um, this is Genevieve's Tea Ring. When it first came out, I liked it. I wasn't crazy about it. I'm liking it more now than I did then. It's another where you're getting a, almost a pastry note. But then I do get, it's quite heavy on cherry, but more of a maraschino cherry versus a candied cherry and almond. Now, I typically, I am not a big, big fan of almond, but that combination there works. Um, let's see, how many did I do? I don't know. I'm just going to grab a couple more. Neptune's Oasis. Another masculine type scent more of a this one though is more of a like a body wash type scent rather than a um, cologne and I think there might be some salty sea air in here if not it smells an awful lot like it but then there are also other elements in there of I don't know it's slightly green but I'm not sure what that greenness is so I really like this one 
this would be amazing, I think, in anybody's bathroom. Two more, and then we're moving on. Angel food cake. Now, Ashton had this. I've not smelled it warm. I did smell it cold at Ashton's one day, and I loved it. And I'm liking it even more now. Now, these have been here for a couple of days. And this, to me, smells exactly like um, angel food cake batter. Not so much the cake when it's baked, but the batter. So good. I think this one is going to end up another. That's going to go on my favorites list. That one I would think would be more of a, uh, at least to me, a little bit more of a warm weather scent. I mean, I'll melt it at any time. But uh, Raspberry Bear Claw. Another that is just so delicious smelling. It does smell like a raspberry filled pastry. And Victoria's raspberry scents to me, and I've said this previously, not so much the blue raspberry scent on its own, but some of the other raspberry scents smell very, very much like real raspberries to me. They actually smell like raspberry seeds. Um, and raspberry seeds to me or any type of seed for that matter, always seems to have a little bit of nussy, nuttiness. And that's what I'm getting out of this, almost that raspberry seed nuttiness and fruitiness. And then um, cinnamon and almost a like a frosting, really sugary frosting type scent. So I'm going to end this here, move on to the next portion of this. Be back in a minute.